this is Dwayne N6DMR. Today I'm doing a quick video on setting up the new upgrade radio from Anytone, the Anytone D878UV. Now this is a new radio and uh, it has advanced features. Uh, what I'm going to be set showing you today is the APRS function. I'll briefly talk a little bit about analog APRS, which the radio is capable of, and I will also show you exactly how to set up the digital DMR APRS side of the radio. So the first thing I do when I have my CPS open here is I look in the tool menu and I go to options. I need to make sure that I have GPS checked as an option as well as APRS. Very simple, but it's easy to forget this, so just remember to always set your tool option function uh, the way it's supposed to be. Okay, the, one other issue is the optional settings. There's a couple of places in the optional setting menu we have to make sure we have right. Under digital function, down at the bottom, we need to choose the SMS format as Motorola SMS. This is important. Uh, this is the this is the way you're going to also set your Brandmeister self-care, which is tied to your DMR ID. We also need SMS confirmation to be turned off. So those are the two settings in digital function. Then under GPS ranging, I also turn the GPS on. I found that this works the best by turning this on. And that's it for the two optional setting menus. Let's take a quick look at the APRS uh, setup menu. This menu is is in two sections. The top section is your digital, the bottom section is your analog. I, as a, although I'm not going to cover setting up the analog, the radio is capable of it, it works great, it sends on the frequency you choose, which in this case is the US uh, uh, APRS channel, and you get to set up your call sign, your dash number, your symbols, and also your signal path and some notes so that that will be in the APRS data when you send it. But that is another video going forward. On the digital side, this is the setup that you need to do. Uh, transmit power. I chose medium or mid. Uh, my manual transmit interval, 30. Uh, auto, auto transmit interval, which is 60. I leave the support for roaming off at, for now because we're just interested in the APRS. Now you can choose to have a fixed beacon or you can choose to use your GPS. In my case, I'm not using the fixed beacon. If I change this to use the fixed beacon, beacon, it would use the coordinates that I set right in this area here. And these are in the degree, 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 and decimal degree, 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 degree format. So for this video, we're going to use the GPS. I'm going to talk, turn off the fixed beacon. Now I want to slide over to some confusion possibly. It's not something you've seen before in the Anytone menu system. This is your actual report channels that the radio will use to send the APRS data. Now you can change, this is, the, this is a channel that I have set up already for 3142 Talk Group in Pennsylvania. The radio will actually send to the talk group that you put in this box right here, the US310999, and you will be sending it as a private call, same as SMS texting. So this channel, because the radio needs to know what frequency you're on, like what repeater you're on or what hotspot frequency you're on, this is how you do the setup. You choose one of your existing channels. This is my duplex MMDVM board. So now the APRS function of the radio will use the frequencies of this channel. It will use the uh, uh, color code of this channel. And if you want, it will use the top time slot of this channel. This is the channel slot. If you wanted to change this and you wanted to have it go out on a different slot than you're listening to, you can change it to slot 1 or slot 2 at by your choice. For, to make it simple, I just leave it on the channel slot. Now when you turn the radio onto this channel and press the push to talk, as long as the GPS is engaged and locked, you will start getting APRS data sent at the interview, auto interview that you choose. Now, because you may not have the same uh, repeater every time, you can set up up to eight channels. So I've set one up for my open spot frequencies. I have a local repeater that I use, W3AD, so I set it up that channel up for sending APRS, which works very well through the repeater. And then I also set up one of my Zoom boards channels as well. So just keep in mind, we have one report, channel one, two, three, and four set. 
Now, we have to go into these channels and turn APS on right there. So when you go to that channel, APRS starts. I'm going to show you that next. We have to close this menu. So the first one was duplex 3142, Pennsylvania. Okay, this is, this is the first report channel. So what I do here is I take the APRS report type and I select digital. The choices are off analog or digital. Since we're talking about digital APRS, I choose digital. I also turn on the digital APRS push to talk mode. This is important. You need this on. And I've also selected the corresponding report channel from the APRS setup screen, which was number one. So now the radio will use the frequencies of this, of this hotspot. It will use the color code and it will use the time slot that I've chosen. And it will send it to the talk group for APRS 310999. Okay, let's check a couple of other channels. The next one was my open spot channel, 3142. There it is here. I'll open it up. Exact same thing. I turn on the digital APRS report type. I turn on the APRS digital PTT. Now, this is the second report channel in my APRS screen, so I choose two for my report channel. Now the radio will send through my open spot to the talk group 310999. Remember, the GPS has to be on and locked because we're using GPS data send. So we'll go ahead and check the other two channels, other channels as well. So the, the, we go down and we have, uh, whoops, a little too far, sorry. Didn't have to bear with me. But one was a, my local repeater Pennsylvania channel. W3AD is the repeater, 3142 is the channel. I also turn APOS report type digital to digital. I also turn PTT on for digital and because this is the third channel I'm using, I choose report channel three. The radio knows that it will look for the report channel three when it's sending APRS, which corresponds to the frequency, time slot, and color code of the repeater that I'm sending to. One more channel, that's the zone. It's exactly the same, except I've chosen four. So I've turned the digital APRS digital report type on. I've got the PTT on for digital, and then I've chosen four, which is the APRS channel, report channel, in the APRS setup screen. You are now ready to go. So I'm gonna show you one more time just to review the APRS screen. Okay, so you see we have our intervals. We're going to use GPS, not a fixed beaten. We have all our channels set up. Now the way this radio works, if you, if you turn the radio menu on, choose the zone, and choose this duplex channel, and press the push to talk, the radio will start sending DMR APRS to talk group 31099 through Brandmeister. Now, remember, you have to have a GPS lock in order for it to work in this mode. If we went the fixed beacon, we could use it, just it will send whatever this latitude and longitude is at the interval. Okay, so you can see I've got my four channels. Uh, I'm set, the only thing I have to do now is uh, I would set my COM port, which I have not, don't have the radio hooked up right now, and then we would go ahead and write to the radio, okay? And that's essentially the setup. So uh, to talk quickly, turning your radio on, letting the GPS get a lock, which might take five to eight minutes, then you can you go to the channel that you've selected uh, that you'd like to use. In my case, again, I would use probably duplex 3142 here at home. Once you've done that, you have the GPS lock, you hit the press to talk key, and immediately you will get a uh, APRS send icon up on the screen, and the radio will send at the interval that you chose in the APRS menu. Good luck, I hope it works for you. Keep in mind, there's local conditions always, and uh, there are instances where some repeaters won't accept this data. Normally, if you're running a hotspot, you should have no problem at all. Uh, I have checked all the Brandmeister US servers and they all uh, do very well uh, passing APRS data to the website APRSFI. So thanks for listening. I'm going to go ahead and shut this video down.